Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm supposed to start a study session in 10 minutes and I have to go shovel my car because look what it looks like outside. Wow. Needless to say, the study session will probably be late, but I'm gonna go deal with my car. Well, that was not fun evidenced by the fact that I had to change into completely different clothes because my other ones were soaking wet. But now I'm going to start a late study session. I was supposed to start at 8, but I didn't know that my car was going to be encased in ice. We had some sleet a couple days ago and then that hardened and froze onto the car, so it should be okay now. I'm going to try and back it out of the parking space that it's in later just to make sure it can get in and out, but we should be all right. All right, guys, we're getting started on our study stream and my study stream viewers are saying hello. There's me. There's my dreaded Anki cards. Inside a snowy tree, how cute. Hi, buddy. Okay, so basically, I just brushed my car off again. It wasn't too bad this time. And since the snow is kind of letting up now, um, I'll probably just do it one more time before it gets dark. Um, and the other thing that I did is I kind of like drove my car in and out of the parking spot to try and pack down the snow a little. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. It could make some ice, but it'll also make it easier for me to get out tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, and it was definitely a bit of a slip and slide the first time. I was a little worried I was gonna hit the person next to me because I was just going like, woo, but I didn't and we're fine. And I'm wet again, so I'm gonna go change back into the clothes that I brushed off the car the first time in because they're dry now. Oh, what a mess. Okay, did I tell you I was thinking about going to Target to get a shovel, but they are out of shovels at Target and that's the only place I could walk to, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. And during the study session this morning, I finished my Anki cards and I also did almost 20 USMLE questions from UWorld, so I'm gonna finish up those and then probably start watching some lectures. I have a mandatory lecture this afternoon at one o'clock, which is pretty unusual for us. I'm just trying to get as much work done before the mandatory lecture as possible, so. My camera did a weird thing. And then later tonight, I'm gonna make grilled cheese and tomato soup. I'm not sure if I showed it on my channel before, but that's what we always used to make whenever we had a snow day. We would go play outside in the snow for hours and then come in and have some warm grilled cheese and tomato soup. So I'm gonna make that for dinner because that just feels right. It's so pretty outside. Yeah. Anyway, my mandatory two hour lecture is about to start. So I'm gonna get ready for that. I just did some modules that I had to do for our primary care skills course. We have like um, different modules we have to complete by certain dates throughout the year. So I just did the ones that are due this Friday and hopefully I can get the certificates and send them in so that they're not late. My Tuesday is going pretty well. My session is over. It's actually really interesting. It was about physician impairment. I'm not gonna talk about it too much just because, I don't know, I find it weird to just talk about the things that I learned. Like, I don't know, if you're a med student watching, you probably have your own lecture on physician impairment, so you don't need me to tell you about it, but uh, it was really cool and interesting. People had a lot of like really good questions and things, so 
trying to decide if I take a break and then watch lectures or if I just watch lectures. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet. I'm so tired. <laughs> I feel like I haven't done anything today. So I decided to go straight into working. I've got one lecture down. I am in the middle of the next one. That is a two hour lecture on CNS infections. And then I'll probably watch some sketchies, do the last 20 of my UWorld questions, uh, make my dinner. I called my mom for a bit because I'm trying to plan a ski trip with my dad for after finals week. I'm sorry, my life is so boring. Since we haven't been able to get much power in the last few days from the snow. Guys, I just joined Taylor the New Hampshire Hikers membership. She has a membership on her channel now. I don't know. I really like her. I think she's really cool. I've been to her gift shop and I love all of her content. And she's one of the people who really got me into hiking through her videos and her experience on the Appalachian Trail. So, but it's worth it, I think. It's not that much, you know? And I'm hoping to kind of like live vicariously through her videos a little bit while I'm doing my boards prep studying. It'll be like a nice break every day, just like to watch her 20 minute video from the day or like week or whatever. You guys should definitely go check out her channel, especially if you're into hiking. And if you like hiking, leave other channel recommendations down below because I'm always looking for new ones. I'm currently watching the Whimsical Woman or Jennifer's PCT through hike from 2018. I started it a little while ago and then I never finished it. So I started it up again. So I am a trash human and yesterday's vlog sucked. And today I went skiing. So I think I'm just gonna turn this into a week long vlog because I don't really have any other footage. So I'm about to hop on to another two hour study session on YouTube. You can find the schedule for the study sessions on my community tab or I post them in our study discord. So let me know if you want the link for that. And yeah, I'm just gonna like get all the lighting set up, run to the bathroom and then get started on my study session. guys it's 6 45 and i really need to get my day started because i have to catch up on some work because i was gone yesterday for most of the day so i did end up finishing my note cards yesterday but i did not finish my usmle questions i didn't even start them and then there were obviously lectures yesterday that i didn't watch but luckily today one of our lectures did get canceled so i have a lot of stuff to do today i'm just gonna take you through like i normally would my hair's still wet. It's kind of curly. What?
All right, so it's 9.38. As you just saw, I just finished all of my Anki learning cards and review cards. Uh, I made kind of like a to-do list. The Anki reviews were on it, but now I need to work on some UWorld questions. I've been trying to just like increase my stamina for UWorld. Um, I can manage like 10 questions to 15 questions pretty well actually, and I end up doing well for the most part on them. But once I get into like the 20 to 30 or even 40 in a row range, my scores drop like very significantly because I just, I feel like I don't have the mental stamina to be able to do 20 or 30 of these really hard questions in a row. So I've been trying to do longer blocks of 20. It's been kind of tough because I haven't really been seeing my scores increasing at all, but it's still the first run through of you world, so I'm not super worried about it. Hopefully as I do more and more and learn more things from each card that I get wrong, I can end up getting better scores on the next go round. Uh, I'm not really taking my score report very seriously right now as I'm going through this first pass just because I'm really trying to feel things out and figure out subjects that I really need to work on or versus subjects that I feel pretty confident with. That's been my update on UWorld for now. I'm gonna start doing some questions and then other things that we have to do today. I have to watch lectures from yesterday uh, and I wanna get started on the sketchy micros and sketchy farms for this block. So we have to do a couple of them like anti-psychotic drugs, anti-emetic drugs. I really don't, I, the sketchy farm narrator isn't my favorite, but I love the sketchy micro narrator. Um, and I do have a couple bugs to go over in that, um, that we haven't gone over in previous classes in great detail. So I'll probably rewatch the Neisseria meningitidis video. I have to watch the Cryptococcus neoformans video. And then I have some uh, like amoeba videos to watch, like Negleria and I don't know, just other things. So I also have a really busy day today because I have to get COVID tested at noon. We're doing COVID testing on campus. And then I have to go back to campus at 3.30, from 3.30 to five for OMM lab. So I have a lot of stuff to do and not much time to do it because it's already almost 10 a.m. We probably won't finish today, but that's okay. It's 10.50. I finished up 20 U World questions. I'm starting to work on sketchies for the day. Um, I'm pretty hungry. I didn't really eat a lot yesterday or drink any water at all. <laughs> so I'm like kind of dehydrated and probably also like needing some nutrients. So I'm gonna make myself a bowl of oatmeal. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna leave here around 11.30 because I need to stop by Target and see if they have snow shovels. And then also I need to grab a ruler and like a baking pan. And I might just grab some like general groceries as well while I'm there. And then I'll head straight from there to my COVID test at noon. Just get him out of here. This elevation in prolactin can lead to galacteria and Hi guys. So I just got back from my OMM lab. I had dinner. I forgot to take a clip of it, but my mom dropped off pancit noodles, which is like a Filipino uh, noodle dish. And she also made some Cuban pork for me. I ate both of them. They were delicious. And I'm just gonna take like probably like a 40 minute break and watch some YouTube videos before I get back into studying. I'm not super worried about being behind just because I have all weekend to study. I don't have any plans this weekend. I'm not going anywhere or doing anything. So I have plenty of time to catch up. So yeah, I should have showed you my dinner. It was so good.
All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me. I didn't really feel like talking much today. I just kind of wanted to like unplug and get my work done. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, I hope you like the style of it. I was really inspired by like Elsa Ray and Baron's channel. And I know like the type of content that I make does not really translate well to that style of video, but it's definitely something that I kind of want to get more into. Um, I think it would be cool if you guys could like appreciate just like the sheer silence that goes on in most of my day because most of the time I'm just studying rather than like, I don't know, there's like background music and stuff, but it's just kind of tranquil and that's what most of my days are like. And that's what my day was like today. So I'm just gonna keep doing more work, but I figured I would end the video off here. If you like these types of videos, definitely subscribe down below. I make lots of videos about medical school. I usually do daily vlogs, but if you guys like the weekly vlogs, I can do those as well. Let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see from me down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I possibly can. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.